Welcome in to part 55 of the daily health journey vlog. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, so lately I've been posting a lot of a short film. So today is a little bit of a sit down vlog. Um, today's topic is speaking your mind. And not just speaking your mind, but also showing it through your actions. And so as you can see today, I'm like wrapping gifts for people. Um, most notably for my, my manager and my, my parents. Um, and the reason for, for me to do this, why, why, why would you give a, a gift to your manager, right? That's kind of weird. Um, he's actually a, an amazing manager that I have. He, he makes work easier for me, even though I don't find the work fulfilling. It's not where I want to be. But he makes it much easier for me. He even offered to be my, my referee for my physio applications. And so, and I'm not kidding, I've, I've read a lot of books on leadership and this man embodies everything that I've read. The way he treats his employees, he treats us fairly, he doesn't show authority, you, you feel really comfortable being around him. And I think that's so what, that, that makes a manager so great is that you, want, you don't want to see them as an authority figure. You want to see them as a person of full of leadership, that he's doing the work with you, right? This guy sometimes comes in seven days a week and eight to 10 hour days. And so you can see that he genuinely cares about how the, the, the workplace is going. He cares about the workflow and how everything is operating he's doing the work with you and it doesn't feel like he's just sitting on a desk and asking people to do stuff he's there alongside you in this battle of you know of your work and so that's what a great leader is and, and is someone who who is with you through the toughest times and not just celebrates the wins and uh, you know takes takes advantage of his employees and treats them poorly and the reason why I'm so passionate about it is because I want, I want to be like that in the future. Uh, I want to be in a position where I am a, a leader and that I can show people that I don't, I don't want to be an authority figure. I'm only here to call the shots and what's appropriate, but I want to be with you alongside you working hard to accomplish the same goal. I want to build a team that recognizes, okay, this guy is our boss, but he's with us every day. He's not just sitting around on his desk, right? That's, that's what my manager is currently. And I wanted to show my appreciation by giving him a small token. Um, it's not much, I am not rich. But the thing is with gifts is that it's all about the thought. Like you remember them during this time. And so it is Christmas time. So it's a perfect time to give them a, a gift. It's very appropriate. And so uh, the important thing is that the thought was there. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be something, you know, that that is out of this world. It just has a lot of meaning. Like you remembered him during your during your struggles. And then of course I, I wrap a gift for my parents as well because I they do mean a world to me. They they always support me and always I love me in many ways. And so I just wanted to show my appreciation for them as well. I, and that's about it for this, this vlog. It's just that if ever you're in a position where you're like, oh my goodness, I want to give this person a compliment, do so anyway. Um, like I, I've been practicing that lately. It's like when I see something nice that a person's wearing, it's like a bag or like a, a jacket. I, I take the small time of like seconds literally to say, hey, nice jacket. I like the color, I like the style. It's not, it's, you want to be genuine, you, you know, you want to lavish people with compliments. You want to be very gen, genuine because you can, uh, people can really tell if it's genuine or not. And that's again, another sign of being a great leader is being able to, and that's what he does. He, he compliments his employees lavishly uh, what my manager does. And so, and I think just expressing what you really mean in your head, if you have a thought in your head, I think, it, and it's an appropriate comment, you, sh you should always speak of it, right? So if, you, if you notice a nice gesture someone's doing, say thank you, thanks for doing that. Um, if someone's opening the door for someone, if someone's 
you know, ring the bell during the holidays for Salvation Army. Thank them and say, hey, I appreciate your work. Because it's hard, you know, people need these little, little comments to smile. And we need a little more smile in this world. And so I'll end off here. Um, just continue to smile, spread some love, not just during the holidays, but every time of the year. And so always, just always spread love. Come on, man. The, the, the world is, it, you're here for a short time. Leave your mark. As small as it is, always leave your mark. Anyways, go check out the previous video. I talk about just chasing after experiences. It's a lovely short film that I did. I am pretty proud of it. Uh, go check out the rest of the Health Journey vlogs below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to. I, I think the algorithm is slowly working. I'm reaching a, a more broader audience. And so welcome into people that are new to my channel. I'm very glad to have you here. And I welcome you with open arms. So comment down below what you'd like to see next. And of course, spread some love in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and stay healthy.